Hello Power Rangers fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today is a little Power Rangers Mega Force mystery unboxing. At least for that one, so I know what's in this one. Um, so these are two different packages of Power Rangers Mega Force related items. Uh, if you are familiar with the video I did a couple of weeks ago, I showed you guys my entire Power Rangers action card game collection. Uh, all the different cards I collected back in 2013 uh, while Power Rangers Mega Force was on the air. And uh, I actually have some more cards here to take a look at. So this obviously is definitely more cards, this one in this envelope here. And this is from Kyle, also known as Deadpool Ranger on Twitter. He reached out to me and had a bunch that he was willing to give me, just had me pay the shipping costs, and here they are. So also, for whatever reason, my campus uh, like mailroom writes my last name in all my packages, so that's why they both say Perry on them because that's my last name. So this is definitely gonna be some cards. Uh, I do know which ones these are. For the most part, I do believe that these are the promotional ones handed out during San Diego Comic-Con 2013, which I had one of, if I remember correctly. I think it was an armored red, or was it a Mega Force or something like that. Uh, my cards are actually back at home. Uh, so these will be the only cards I have here on campus, uh, but I wanted to make sure I was able to do this video here, and then I'll go home eventually and bring the cards with me. Uh, but since it's in the dorm setup, I'm on the bed here. As you can see, there's just some blankets in the background, trying to make it as presentable as possible. So we'll open this one up with all the cards. This one, though, is going to be a little more exciting. Um, so this is from eBay. I got a pretty good deal on four sealed uh, Power Rangers minifigure Mega Force things. Uh, they were like these little blind bags that came out in 2013 that uh, were either Mega Force related or Mighty Morphin related. And uh, I have four of them here from series two specifically. And since they are mystery bags, I have no idea what's in them other than the fact that they come with one figure and then one card each. And I don't believe I ever got any of the series two bags. I only ever remember getting one series one bag back in the day, which ended up being the little Lord Zed figure, which came with the Lord Zed card. So I probably need all four of these unless there's duplicates in there. All right. Good thing I didn't cut into anything or anything like that. So very nicely sealed <laughs> in a little envelope. So put in an envelope and then put in another envelope. So I'm impressed so far. Let's go ahead and open this thing up here, which that didn't really do anything there. We'll just tear into it a little bit. Like I said, I'm trying to be a little delicate because these are cards after all. And yeah, he put them in sleeves too. Very, very nice. All right, is that all? I think so. Cool. <laughs> so this is a nice little set of uh, cards here and also cool sleeves. I don't know what kind of design that is, but very nice, very nice to have these nice and protected and everything as well. Uh, and so I'm able to bring them home and put them in my big binder uh, with everything else. So that's very sweet. So let's see what we got here. We got to the Ultra Mode or Red Ultra Mega Force Ranger. A promo number 196. These are all promos. Uh, they're all holographic uh, as well. I know one of these I have. I'm confident of that. One of these I do have, uh, but I don't know <laughs> exactly uh, which one it is, to be honest with you. I know the majority of these I don't, so that's perfectly good. So there's that. This one is a very sweet one I've wanted for a very long time that I've had my eyes set on. This is the really cool SH Figure Arts card. Uh, so it has the red and green Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on it, promo number 189. So this is what, 196. I think this is the last promo card, 196. I could be wrong. Or it's definitely higher up there. Uh, so 189 there, it's kind of a hybrid card, kind of like those ones we saw in Series 4 if they were, when there was multiple Rangers on a card. So that's pretty sweet. But this is specifically their figure art appearances. Um, I think this is the one I have, I think. Like I said, I don't remember. <laughs> this is the Armored Red or the Red Mighty Morphin Ranger, but it is him with the dragon shield, and this is promo number 186. So we got 196, 186, 189, 185 here. They're all in the same kind of number range is the Mighty Morphin White Ranger, and they're all nice and holographically foil and stuff. Uh, we have, oh, this is, this is another one I have as well, uh, because I actually have two of this one, I believe, and now I have three, because uh, this one was came with a product. It actually came with the Metallic Force White Ranger, a figure, uh, which was basically just a pearlescent metallic version of the MMPR 2010 figure released in 2013 for the 20th anniversary. So I actually have two of those figures because I have one that's unopened and one that is opened. So this would just be my third of this card, but that's perfectly good. Uh, we have another one of the Comic-Con ones. We have promo number 187, the Dino Megazord. I believe the only Megazord, Megazord card in the whole Comic-Con promo set thing. 
Then we have the red Ultra Mega Force Ranger, which once again, this might be the one I have. I don't remember. It's one of these ones. <laughs> so promo number 183, another red Ultra, which is a little bit different uh, from the red Ultra from the beginning, which where did that one go? A little bit different artwork. Uh, the, you know, the action card game was known for doing 1,000 different cards of the same thing. Uh, here is the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, promo number 195. This is all brand new artwork for these ones. And uh, the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger, promo number 184. So, sweet, sweet. So actually, interestingly, every card we're gonna get here today is a promo. So <laughs> these were all promo ones uh, because they came with something or came with some kind of product or whatever. So now let's go ahead and get these blind bags out. All right, cleaned up the mess a little bit here. And now we have four of the mini battle ready figures. So these are still perfectly sealed. Very, very nice. This, like I said, is series two. Series one came in a red bag. Uh, which, like I said, I bought one of back then. I don't believe I ever got more than one of those. I, I also got, there was a team set where I had the whole Mega Force team, so I actually have all of the guys down here. Uh, but Jack came with the whole team and the figure size, but it had one card, which I think was just the one that the Red Ranger came with. And you didn't get every card you would have gotten of these individually. So even if I get a duplicate of the figure, I might be able to get that card I was missing. So that, so like I said, I hopefully get four brand new cards out of this, but there could be duplicates uh, for all I know, or hopefully we'll be lucky and they're all unique. So series two is blue and there was a very limited release of a series three, uh, which came out, I think only like in the UK and stuff. Those were in green bags. Uh, they had like the ultra mode figures and I think some different versions of rock and stuff. And I very much like to track those down as well. Uh, because those also have unique cards that I need. So, take a look at the lineup that we can possibly get. So, you can get Mega Force Red, Blue, Black, Robo Knight, the Gosei Grand Megazord, the Gosei Great Megazord, and then some kind of all solid color, I think probably semi translucent uh, Red and Blue Ranger. And then we have four mystery ones from Mighty Morphin, which who could they possibly be? <laughs> so, this one would be the Yellow Ranger, the Blue Ranger, the Green Ranger, and Alpha 5. Um, which these ones are just re-releases of figures from MMPR 2010, uh, but I never got those back then either, so I'm totally good uh, with getting any of these guys. Uh, I'd really like to get an alpha, uh, to be honest. So, without further ado, I am going to open these, even though they've been sealed for, what, nearly 10 years at this point? Uh, but I am going to open them up. So, who do we got in here first? Also, they seem in very nice quality as well, so I'm not worried about the cards or anything like that. So, before I look at the card, which will give away who it is, uh, here is a checklist. Which does reveal who the mysteries are. And you can see all the different card artworks there. So, they are brand new cards. They feature that kind of chibi design that the figures have. Um, I think... Wow, look at that. Those different translucent rangers. Look at the artwork, right? Same artwork on the regular versions, but different backgrounds. That's how they get you. <laughs> so, we would need them. Uh, but let's see, who do we have in here? Because I honestly did not see what figure it was inside. <laughs> Megaforce Black. Cool. So that is going to be who it's going to be in that bag. So we have promo number 130. Very good condition of the card as well. So very nice. Very happy about that. And let's get him out of there. So this is going to be a duplicate of one I have because I have that team pack. But that team pack, like I said, did not come with his card. Also, I think... Now that I'm looking at it, I think the team pack I have has him holding the snake axe and not the um, not the mega or not the uh, mega blaster. So this actually is unique. Um, which can you take that out of his hand? You know what? That's interesting. You can take this blaster out of his hand, and I think you could take the snake axe out of the hand of the one I have at home. So maybe that's why. I think the pose might be the same, but it's definitely a different weapon. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that's the case though. So neat. Uh, we'll put that there. And I'll, look at that, it actually balanced on there. I'm not going to have room for all of them to balance there, but, you know, it's something. Let's go and open up the other three here. All right. <laughs> this is all going to be Megaforce, isn't it? <laughs> so here is Megaforce Blue, uh, promo number 131. Do you believe this is the one where it's not translucent? Would have liked it to be translucent. Uh, but yeah, it is just the solid color. Mega Force Blue, but that's fine. Like I said earlier with the weapons, I do believe that this is unique because I don't, I'm pretty confident uh, that the ones that I had before had their like 
a shark bow gun and everything like that. I will double check or put a picture up for sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure those are slightly unique in some way. So cool. I mean, I kind of wanted one of those Mega Force or one of the Mighty Morphin cards, but we do need these Mega Force cards nonetheless anyway as well. So that is perfectly fine. All right, is it going to be another Mega Force Ranger? At least be one of the translucent ones, right? Ooh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. That's a good one. We got the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger, promo number 120. So this will be one of the re-releases from the Mighty Morphin 2010 line. So I like that. So you can definitely see there are a lot more chibi, kind of super deformed SD kind of style. Very strange uh, kind of look for him here. I mean, look at that shield. Very odd. Obviously, they don't paint the back or anything. I mean, they paint the bands on the back, but uh, yeah, that's about it. So he has his Dragon Dagger, all silver. And, you know, not the greatest figure in the world. They do have minimal articulation. Looks like you can move the arms. Dagger is not removable, but the head can turn a little bit. So, cute. I like it. You can, can you move the wrists? No, no, you cannot. So you can kind of just have him be like, yeah, <laughs> I guess. If you wanted to do that, can we get three to stand on here? No. <laughs> so I tried. Maybe. All right, it depends on who the last one is. If we're gonna be able to get them all up there. But so far, so good. No duplicates or anything like that, which means I probably just jinxed it. Can we get an alpha? Can we get an alpha? I really want alpha or a translucent mega force. Alpha or translucent mega force. I guess I'll even take a Robo Knight. I love Robo Knight. Come on. Ooh. This one's being a little bit of a toughie. Don't want to damage the card inside. That would be bad. At least they have those nice protective cardboard. Uh, Casings, I guess, or sleeves. Okay, who do we get? All right, Mega Force Red, promo number. Wow, promo number zero zero five. I did not realize that these promos had one so early on in the number scheme. That's pretty cool. So we got another Mega Force one, but was it a regular Mega Force? Ah, <laughs> nice. It's a translucent Mega Force. That's really cool. I really like that. He also has his blaster, which I do think that the one from the five pack had the dragon sword, but he looks like some kind of like cherry gummy or something. <laughs> looks really neat. I like it. So there is Mega Force Red Translucent. And that's uh, four unique ones all standing on the card. Look at that. I got it as I zoom in on that probably looks beautiful. If anybody has any series three as well, uh, because of how rare that is, I, like I said, I think it only released in the UK. Uh, the green bag ones are like the different rocks and ultra modes and uh, probably more, I think there's more Mighty Morphin ones in there as well. I would be interested possibly. <laughs> I guess it just depends on how many condition, price or whatever, but I am always looking for more of these cards uh, to complete the set. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video here. I, I think you guys like these ones, it seems like. So until next time, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, did you collect any of these during Mega Force? Did you get a whole set? Were you trying to go after them for the cards? Were you trying to go after them for the figures and the cards were just an added bonus? Uh, do you like these types of videos? Uh, it doesn't have to be Mega Force related, but just kind of looking at older toys that I buy online and kind of take a look at them and everything because I'm totally down to keep spending more money and keep doing it. So <laughs> until next time, you can follow me on Twitter at LivingRangerKey or at LightningFigPR, and I'll see you all next time.